Hi, I'm Maria Segovia from Jackie Singley Academy. I want to share with you today my behind the scenes and blueprints, documenting systems and processes for hosting student events. First, let me tell you a little bit about me. I have been working for Irving ISD for 22 years. Most of the time I have been a science teacher at the Jackie Singley Academy, and I've hosted several clubs, including Destination Imagination, Science Olympiad, and Friday Night Tech. This year though, I decided to take a big step and join LEAP. And one of the things that LEAP had us do was share our LinkedIn profile, but I didn't have one and needed to create one. While on LinkedIn, I got an insight into the business world, um, something that I haven't really thought about for 22 years. I also had the opportunity to really look at the district mission and vision. And I really like the part of the district vision that talks about fostering the full potential of students and empowering educators. That really made me think of one of the things I saw in LinkedIn, which was this post right here. The stories we create reveal who we are and where we're going. The processes we create reveal how others may join us. And that really brought things into focus for me when it came to setting my goals for my LEAP project. So I wanted to really reveal the processes that happen behind the scenes with the clubs that I host and the events that we bring to the district. I wanted to also encourage leadership within my clubs and create opportunities for kids to run the show. I know the reality after teaching 22 years that I won't be here forever. And at some point, I'm going to have to take all the knowledge I have and let it go. Somebody else is going to have to take over. So I'm going to tell you a little bit about two big events that we did this year. Um, one is the Destination Imagination Instant Challenge Practice. In this um, big event that we host, we give kids the opportunity to use weird stuff to do cool things. They might build a tower that can hold golf balls or a boat that can float across the little river we create. And they've all got minutes to make it happen. It's part of our competition, actually. And so to host this event, it takes a multitude of planning and a multitude of people to be successful. So I created a how-to guide. In this guide, I took all the knowledge that exists up in my head and wrote it down. I took somebody who was maybe doing it for the first time through the beginning stages. So in August, you know, they learn how to use the systems I already created to recruit volunteers and to invite teams from around the region to come visit us. We also um, go through how to select the challenges. You know, what do we want to do? How do we set them up? And how do we communicate with the volunteers that come to help us? All the different things that have to happen. It's a lot, but I've also learned that writing it down really helps people know what's going on. We talk about creating our 216 challenge kits and all the things that happen have to happen the week of the event. So we got to coordinate with our volunteers, we have to set up classrooms, and then we have to have fun. And so when we do this event, we have lots of little kids come in and they get to try out all the cool things. After the event, we also do follow-ups to see what they liked and didn't like so we can make next year better. I've learned through the years that being proactive is absolutely key to having successful events, but that knowledge only comes through experience, either doing it yourself or learning from someone who does. So I let the kids learn with me on the instant challenge practice, and then they took it and did their own thing. This awesome little group here hosted Friday Night Tech. So in Friday Night Tech, kids come in to play video games. Again, it takes a lot of planning, and this was the work that they did and submitted to me to help make it happen. They created their own advertising, they mapped out where they wanted to have the different events happen, and communicated with staff, and they also wanted to sell food, and so they learned the magic of purchase orders and working with the Sam's Club to go shopping and how to use that PO appropriately, save your receipts, and turn in those receipts. They hosted their uh, concession stand at their event and tracked their spending, including the Dollaroos Acquired. So the event was a success. Kids really had a lot of fun with it, and it culminated with a Kevin versus Kevin tournament in Smash, Smash Brothers, and believe it or not, Kevin won. So when it comes to doing all this work, um, creating the guides uh, is, takes a lot of time, and hosting the event takes a lot of time as well. But what really hit hard was the 
feedback that we got from the FNT event. Our students ask kids beforehand how isolated and lonely they feel. After the event, they asked them again, and we started to see improvement. They did the same for how stressed you feel. And again, they saw improvement. Our students who helped host the events themselves also acquired cumulatively 247 volunteer hours just this year alone, not to mention all the soft skills that are necessary to be successful in today's business environment. We really felt this did a good job of supporting the district mission and vision because ultimately isn't what we want to foster the full potential of our students and empower our educators. The only way this is going to happen is if we let people know how we do what we do. We have to reveal what is happening behind the scenes so that others can replicate it and make it their own and continue to make our district successful. Thank you so much for listening to my presentation. Uh, the QR code here will take you to that first how-to guide that I built for Destination Imagination. And if you have any questions, feel free to email me at mmsegovia at urbanisd.net.